this is Stevio here, back on the tournament. So we got our combines of harvesting. We got to keep up with the Team 3, the ultimate cotton team, Team 3. So we're running all of our combines, getting them working in the field. So we're trying to be, to keep up, and to keep them up, we need to run them constantly. Let's get these combines spread out a bit here. I think we'll move this combine to the other field. So we got multiple combines. Usually cotton harvesters, they work better when they work alone. So let's just say it, cotton harvesters are kind of loners. You can leave them alone and they'll just keep working hard for you. So I don't know if you guys watch Squad's channel or not, but definitely we this map is huge so it's hard to keep up, especially when you're by yourself and you're trying to keep your workers run, running. So just transporting our combines from field to three, we, field to field we had to buy a, a trailer so we could transport them because going at 15 mile an hour just isn't feasible on this map so got them all together so basically we try to do each side of the map at the same time plant them at the same time and harvest them at the same time so I don't know if that's more efficient than just doing one side at a time but seems to work pretty good for us so Gus was on here earlier today he did a lot of work so thanks go out to Gus made some made some money so I have some harvesters stopped over here need to get them back to work they seem to want to do a little meet up in the middle of the field. Didn't want to shut that off. So we're back. Had a little sink there. I believe R.D. Allen came on. Go get this combine. Start on this side of the field. go and I believe we'll clean this up over here got one weird pass left in the middle of the field so hopefully you guys are all doing well yeah uh, just so you know, I hopefully I'm plan on streaming tomorrow. Was gonna stream today, but it just seems with the synchronization and everything, it wouldn't be a good stream. So I'll try to stream tomorrow as long as everything works out with my work and everything. So figured basically my last stream was my first stream ever, so I had to. It's definitely a learning process for me, but I'll try to do better, have a better video at least clarity so really like running these harvesters in cab compared to outside so it's definitely it's probably because the head it's only a six row head and it's just so easy to know you don't have a 45 foot draper head which you're constantly looking all the way to the side and trying to see depth perception there so definitely like in inside the cab of these cotton harvesters so I want to get these cotton harvesters running and then I believe we need to sell our oats so I know we haven't been harvesting much small grain, but we need to get some grain to the elevator 
So hopefully it's a good price because we're starting to wind down. We still have a few more days left on the tournament, but it's definitely whining. So, so most likely we'll try to focus hard on Cotton to try to keep up with Team 3. So Team 3 did overtake us recently. So uh, I think they got us by 2 mil or close to 2 mil. So I don't know if we'll make that by selling our oats. So don't know if I want to sell the cotton because it's not a... we'll see what price it is how much time we got. It appears that we have a bale in the middle of our cotton field over here too. We are Team 5. So Gus was just on here, so we have, well, it's just under one mil. So it's not too bad, not too shabby. We just transported our cotton harvesters over here. So I'm going to get into the truck and get over here so we can start transporting our uh oh, here somebody had a dirt moment. Huh, that's what happens when you drink and play Farming Simulator. It's a belly up semi over there. So, don't know where I want to park this at the shop. Kind of would like to get it put away. I know our farmyard is kind of a mess. I need to spend some time cleaning it up. There's a lot of people on and off all day having some problems backing this up. Don't know why. There we go. Good spot for it. So I believe I'm gonna get our shiny trailer, our chrome trailer. So we will have to drive into a little bit there because we need to turn around get to grain bin now we'll get over here I believe we just had barley so yep Barley selling good. Really nowhere. We'll have to go probably to the co-op. The co-op is look at all that cotton. Cotton, cotton, more cotton, all cotton. That's crazy. So we need to go up past this the co-op. Shut that tarp. There we go. Fill up the back trailer. Here we go. So we, hopefully we make fairly good off these oats. We won't make a lot, to be honest. But I would just like to get them out of our hair. And that way we don't have to work, worry about them the last couple days 
Let's do a little in cab driving here. So we're pulling back into the yard. So we just hauled three loads to the co-op elevator. So we're gonna wait for our last load because the prices dropped slightly. So I'm gonna wait. I think I'm gonna get into the planter, start the planter running, get this field right by the farm here. So, I think we'll drive the 9RT. Park this nice and neat right here because we like to have an efficient farm. So, we'll head over here to our planner. The 9RT. Look at it. Just looks so beautiful with that setup. Start this bad boy up. So, this is that. Uh, 9520 RT. We're pulling a DB90. So a good drill. Really like this setup. So I kind of like our tractor breakdown on the farm. We got some. We got a Challenger. We got a row track case we got the 9rt and 
I guess we have a 7210 also we bought on the auction and a 4960 so good little tractor breakdown so we definitely use these tractors so this tractor has 34 hours on it yes yeah, so it's definitely getting its use on this farm it's definitely paid for the money we paid for it so I believe we only paid 250,000 for this at the auction I think we got a good deal so I really like this DB90 it really flexes watch it the whole planter flexes just like it should in real life flexing to make sure each row has constant contact with the ground good seed placement it would be kind of nice if we could get some like different textures for row crops than a drill so this is a good drill texture planting right here but not so much as a row crop so it would be kind of nice if Giants did something like that I don't know if that's possible or not but be something different don't know if that could be scripted and the modder can make that really like these how these fields are little they definitely have some slopes some bends in them but they're not to the point where it causes you not sharp cliffs which are unfarmable but everything is manageable so like I said earlier I do plan on live streaming so Hopefully if everything works out, I'll live stream tomorrow. Really enjoying the live streams. Get to interact with my supporters out there, which is kind of cool. So, I really like going around the first pass of a field. So. To me, this is just so entertaining. It's really hard to do first person for me, the first pass around a field. So I usually just do outside the cab, especially when I'm dealing with these larger planters and these trees that are planted very close to the edge of the field. So we're definitely getting all of our crops possible. I think now, as long as we run this line right down here, we should be good. Just kind of keep. I think we're going slightly farther over. So this is... Uh, Customs modding 9RT good tractor. I think the consoles just got this tractor, so hopefully they're really liking it. I hope custom modding puts their 3D tracks back into Farm Sim, so it's definitely cool cool mod that we had in uh, 17 the 9RT was similar to this but had uh, 3D tracks so the tracks definitely look real so I'm not sure how many bales we got we got a lot of bales back at the our farmyard but most of our bales are stored in our by our far field set so we definitely have uh, some bales over there uh, we still have a few more days so we're kinda 
taking it easy, not selling, only selling when it's high. So we're just collecting now with bales. So keep collecting, try to get the high score. Uh, I don't know if Team 3 has calmed down recently or they're collecting bales similar to us. I thought about like planting a small patch over here of sugar cane and then hiding all my bales in that and then just like the last moment of the last day doing a surprise you know make them think that they're winning and then surprise you know have a hundred bales and waiting basically be kind of cool you know I think I think that would work I'm pretty sure you could completely hide cotton bales in a sugar game patch so voila bales gone get this outside pass around here well here it's definitely hard doing inside cab when you're going around the corners like this there go You ever get that feeling when you're driving inside the cab that you're not doing anything and you're always worried? Get that feeling pretty often. So definitely need to do some cleanups. Don't look at my farmyard. It's definitely need to tidy some stuff up around there haven't been get been able to get on to this server as much as I wanted to so definitely have to make up some time hopefully we're able to do that tomorrow a few days that the tournament's still going on around here so this is definitely an odd shaped field on this side we get every last square inch on our farm go and cut around and that is the outside pass
So we are back. So we'll leave the helper finish up that field over there. Looks like he's doing good. And I just love this squad's truck here, how it wears. So I know it is dirty, but it is being used. So every time we have to haul bales, this truck is always being used. This is let's just say the farm favorite truck so that's why it's so wore down but man does it look good I love the wear marks that it has on it gives a new realism might be a little bit unrealistic but still looks pretty cool so I like to thank you all for watching I'd like to thank all your support I get so excited when I get to make another video for y'all so give me some support, give me a like, give me a share, give me a comment. Everything helps. So thank you for watching, and I will see you later at the tournament.